I'm going to pick my text from this message, the unholy spirit, unholy spirit. Romans 8 verse number 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Repeat after me, one to go. They are what? For the last time. They are what? For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear. But you receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So we have two spirits there. The Holy Spirit and the human spirit. The Spirit himself, not itself, bears witness with our spirit, our spirit is human spirit, that we are the children of God. Underline children of God. There are two words there I want to stress. Children of God, sons of God. Children of God, sons of God. As you will notice, in that same passage, there are so many thoughts around it. Because it says, if we are children, then we are heirs. If we are heirs of God, then we are joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, we don't like that, that we may also be glorified with together. We love the glorification part. We hate the suffering part. If you go down a little bit in that same chapter, you will find a very popular passage that many people do quote. It says in verse 22, For we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth, birth pangs together to now. Not only that, but we also, who are the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves, even we ourselves, Praise God. In verse 19, before that one, it says there that for the endless expectation of the creation eagerly awaits the revelation of the sons of God. In the entire Romans chapter 8, Paul interchangeably, by the help of the Holy Ghost, used sons of God, children of God. Sons of God, children of God. Sons of God, children of God. It takes the Holy Ghost quickening your human spirit to be a child of God. Nobody can be a child of God without an encounter with the Holy Ghost. Now, let me tell you what happens at salvation, what we call born again experience. Your human spirit, all of us are spirit beings. But not all of us, not all of us have been quickened by the Holy Ghost. Now, when the Holy Ghost comes into the, your human spirit and quickens, what quicken means to put life. Life means to make it alert and aware and conscious of God. Now, that is when the born again experience takes place. Except a man be born of the Spirit. In other words, the Holy Ghost will come into your spirit, bam, have something, bam, through the help of the Word, because the Word of God is what the Holy Ghost will use to birth a new you. So you become born again. You cannot be born again except you were born before. You were born before when you had a fresh breath from heaven. In other words, when your mother and your mama gave back to you, you were born. Physically, you had a body. Soul, why shall the mind? Your mind grows, but your spirit is always and will always be there. But that spirit can be without God. He's not God conscious. So that's why when you commit certain sins, it's lifestyle, it's normal. But when you get born again, the Holy Ghost bears witness with our spirit that we have the children of God. So it's not possible to be born again without the Holy Ghost bearing witness with our spirit. 